for me? No, it's for your gran. She's not well. She's got the flu. No, that's why she was coughing all night. She kept me awake. I mean, it's bad enough. Amy screaming her head off. Nice toast. Oh, good. Well, you can take it into her then. Um, no, thanks. Well, I don't want to catch anything before Wednesday. You take it in. Oh, yeah, and risk arriving at my wedding with no voice. Mm. At least you'll be there, not like Peter. Well, I'll be fair. He can't come while Shelley's still living next door. No, I suppose not. Does my mother have to die of starvation? I've got a headache. Oh, well, deliver this, and if you still feel bad, you can jump into bed with her. Ugh, the thought. Mind you, could throw Amy in there, get a couple of days to myself. Cheers. Does she mean that? It's the only way out she knows that. She ain't come to a decision yet. I have. And I won't change my mind. Well, you don't have to do anything today. I'm not keeping it, Mum. I go to the clinic, I see a counsellor, and then they get on with it. The abortion. Call it whatever you like. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, and the sooner she gets it over with, the better. Money well spent. All I am saying is it's a big step for a girl her age to take. So what do you want her to do? Sit there till she sighs out? Don't argue about it! I've been awake all night. And I've made up my mind. Come on, I'll run you there. We'll get there early, they'll do you early. It's not a trip to the hairdressers, Tommy. I don't want that thing inside her. Right, go and see Craig. Check he's got everything he needs for his scout trip. And keep him upstairs. It's all right, darling. <laughs> Shh. Where is it? Oh, oh where's my dinner money? Rosie's got it. What did you give it to her for? It's in my purse. In your bag. Oh, Sophie, leave my things alone. So, wonder who Tommy's going to beat up today, then. Oh, keep your voice down. Why? What's he got to do with them two? Look, there's a reason he did it. It's always the same reason with Tommy. He loses his temper for nothing. There was something in it this time. Oh, yeah. And what's been happening, what Tommy don't already know about it? Well... Oh, Mum, she still won't give it to me. She empties my stuff all over the floor. Mum, it's not fair. Oh, I'm going to work. No, Kevin, wait. Mum, she still won't give it to me. And you always moan. Oh, but she oh, always does it. Oh, Mum, stay. Just go to school, the pair of you. What's Kitty crying for? She in. She is. Craig, it's not for you to worry about. You might as well tell me. You heard your mother. I heard my sister too. She's only in the next room. Hey, listen, your cheek. Why do you always keep secrets from me? We don't love it. It's just in this. I'm case not a kid. Kids paint their nails black. Men don't. Have you got a uniform on under that? You know I have. You've just seen it. Look, as far as I know, you could be joining the army. I wish I was. Get away from here. Leave you two to speak about what you want. Not have to change the subject every time I walk in. Craig, things are just a bit difficult. Yeah, at the moment. yeah, I know. I'm gonna get my kit back. I'm best off at Gantling, stuck here where I'm not wanted. Look, I better go and have a word with Kev, tell him I'll be late. I don't want him on me back and all. Uh, Tom, if you were Craig, then. I know, I know. Look, I'll sort it out. I'll have a word with him on the way to the coach. I can't, it's part of the training. Do you really know all them tram routes? You can tell you'll every stop backwards and forwards. What's the point in that? She's got no, she's coming or going. I'm more perfect, Fred. At least I was last night. You can test me, though, if you want. You believe her? I'm not sure. Name me any tram stop, and I'll tell you the one before it and the one after it, right the way around the system. I'll be here all morning. Now, that's a good I'm idea. Like... What is? Like... Let's have a morning I'm on like... the trams, the four of us. Uh, the box. Josh will love it. Like... And it'll be great practice for me before it's my interview. Like... That's his afternoon. I know. I've heard it on now tales. So it's my last chance. She's nervous. No, I'm not. Well, maybe I am a little. They can't do a shop and go gallivanting all over, please. Oh, Boris can cope, and it is Monday, our quietest day. Mm. Hi, you need. You just don't want to admit I, I can do it. Me. You can't do it. I can. It's too much to learn. Too much for a young girl to learn. If it is, I won't get the job. Oh, come on, Dad. You know Boris no. likes having a place for himself. You win. <laughs> You'll not get all them stops right. I will. You won't. I will. Shouldn't you be at work? Mum, I don't feel like it. Scooter will come back. You'll see. Maybe you should go and see him. Maybe you should. He spent a lot of money on you. He bought me damaged goods. And it probably cost him every penny he had. I know. Why do I keep doing this? Doing what? Messing it up. You know, every time I meet a nice bloke, I just keep acting like a stupid kid. You jump to the obvious conclusion. 
It was wrong. As usual. Sarah, he's a nice boy. Why don't you put your coat on, go to work, and if you've got chance while you're there, give him a ring. He might not want to talk to me. He will. I'll only be a few minutes. Yeah, well, I haven't got that long ass tired on. Oh, Tommy's taking Craig to a scout camp. Doctor's in it good and proper. Well, will you be here at dinner time? Oh, I'll have to be, won't I? Tired always going out on a breakdown. Sean, get a move on, you eight. Hey, not off. I've got ten seconds to get to that door. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six oh, five, see you later. Four, three, two, one. Come in, ready or not. <laughs> what happened to you? What? Oh. Oh. Tommy Harris. What else? You're not going over, Katie, anymore. Tommy doesn't bother about a little detail like that. He's a thug. Ought to be inside. Uh, you go to work, Sarah. Oh, um, see you then. Do you want her talking to me anymore? She doesn't need to know everything that's going on. Well, nothing to be ashamed of. Huh? So why have you and Katie split up then? Tommy and his lies split us up. I don't care what he says. He doesn't want you living with her. Yeah. That's the truth. You're too old. We loved each other. <sighs> She's half your age. And what difference does that make? She's a kid. She ran you ragged and she made a fool of you. Well, you were warned. You've only got yourself to blame. Why, well, girls, listen up, please. Why? Have you brought us some work? No, that's exactly what I need to talk to you about. We're listening, Mr Baldwin. All ears. Right. <laughs> now, as you know, the new orders aren't coming in as fast as we'd like. I do have a couple of things lined up to keep you going for the next week or so, but after that... What? To be fair, Fuzz, things are looking a bit bleak, love. I mean, the phone isn't ringing, you know, and we need a lot more work and we need it fast. Are you saying that redundancies are on the cards? They might be. Oh, uh, you've threatened us with this before and it never happened. This ain't a threat, Lippy. I just think you should know the score, that's all. Well, if there are going to be redundancies, there are procedures that have to be followed. Yes, mm. thank you. I know my job. Is it lasting first out, then? Well, it better be. So, I'm losing my job to somebody like Angela Harris, who, by the way, hasn't even turned up this morning. Oh, yeah. can we give her a chance? Yeah. What for? I need my wages and I am on time every morning. She can live off Tommy. Kelly might have a point. Come on, Angela's no slacker. She must be sick. Yes. <laughs> so, hang on, Mr Baldwin. How come things have gone rotten all of a sudden, then? Hmm? Uh, I didn't say they'd gone rotten, did I, Faz? What I said was, in the near future, I might have to lay some of you off, that's all. Well, there's no overtime, so sounds rotten to me. Oh, it's a sham. Look, I'm just putting the facts before you, that's all. I'm not obliged to. Take it or leave it. Oh, thanks very much. Can't wait for the next bulletin. <laughs> so, are you going to spend the whole day on the tram? Just the morning. Brilliant. I love trams, me. Do you? If she knows all stops, I'm my dinner. If she makes a mistake, she does. Well, it's going to cost you. No, it's not. Weatherfield Keys, Weatherfield Knowles, Kitchen Street, Jubilee Bus Depot, Grassmere Park, Oak Hill. <laughs> Very impressive. I said that impressive. Yeah. Ah, well, come on, well, let's get going, or we'll miss the tram. See you later. Yes, come on. <laughs> well, I've heard of train spotters before, but I've never heard of tram spotters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you remember your dabber? Me what? Your bingo pen. I told you to get one. Oh, no, just use a biro. Fear always uses a dabber. Yeah, well, she also always takes an aisle on Mac in a rain, mate, but won't be bothering with that either. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Hey, Ty, I am looking forward to it, you know. You, me and Vera. We'll make a good team. <laughs> Two little ducks. That's it, yeah, and uh, doctor's orders and legs 11. <laughs> <laughs> hey, top of the shop. <laughs> See, you know them all. Oh, got my key in the door as well. <laughs> yeah. You never tell me anything. Whatever's wrong has got nothing to do with you. It was the other week. That was a mistake, and I made it because I can't get our Katie out of my head and what Platt's done to her. Nothing good is going to come from it, Craig, but it is being sorted. I don't know what you're on about. I'm on about something horrible, but it'll all be finished when you get back from camp. Katie's always been your favourite. She hasn't. She has. I've got two kids and I love them both the same. It's just that 
You tend to act differently with little girls. When they're little, you want to pick them up and hug them. It just seems natural. With little boys, you want to play football and run around and stuff. Katie reminds me of your mother when she was her age. You don't, Craig. You take after me. Only you're not as flaming daft. I love you as much as I love our Katie. You're my son and I'm proud of you. Then why won't you tell me anything? Even Mum won't talk to me. She's more upset than I am. Why? Can't you work it out? No. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad I can't tell you, because I don't want you to know. Dad, everything will be fine when you get back. There'll be no more trouble, it'll be finished. There'll be nothing else to worry about. Ever. No, I promise. <laughs> She'll be so disappointed if she has to miss the wedding. Mm. Well, as long as we're there, that's the main thing. I'll enjoy it more than last time. Will you? Why? Oh, this time I know what I'm getting. Oh. And you still like what's on offer? Even though it's older, fatter and grey. Oh, come on. We both know you're gorgeous. Well, I suppose I am. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce your sleep. Sound. That traces out. Yeah. So why not? Mm. Anybody else? Oh, Lena. Give me strength. Oh, the door was open. Hello, Kenneth. <laughs> Grapes for the invalid. Ooh. <laughs> he wants to see you. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's nipped home, love. We'll be here in a minute. Oh, here he is. What troops? Visitor for you, Mr. Baldwin. Who are you? I'm the new machinist. We haven't got a new machinist, then we're not taking on. Try McAllister's, other side of the red wreck. There are two jobs, one for me and one for my identical twin sister. Nice. Well, there's something identical for your sister. We're not taking on. Try McAllister's, other side of the red wreck. Baldwin's got jobs for us. No, I haven't. The other Mr. Baldwin. Yeah, well, he's not here. Nice meeting you, love. You know where the door is, thank you. Look, my sister's just at the dentist. She'll be as quick as she can. No rush. She's got all the time in the world. Her name's Jessie and my name's Shella. I'm sure she's lovely, love. You're lovely, your whole family's lovely, but you're not working here. I'm sorry now, if you don't mind. Cassie, Mr. Baldwin. You are looking at him, love. I'm the tall, handsome one. I'll wait for Mr. Baldwin, the little one. Good. Well, please yourself. Killing the baby will just kill everything me and Martin had. Are you changing your mind? I don't know. I thought he loved me. That's why I wanted his baby. I didn't get pregnant by mistake. He don't love you. He used to. But what good is that love? It's something I can tell the baby when it's older. Will it be interesting? Yes. Well, don't forget all the other things you'll need to explain and all. I'll have a better story than Sarah Platt. Won't be about some ladder bailing you. Why do you always compare yourself with her? I've got a lot in common. No, you ain't, Katie. I can't see it. She was younger than me, Mum. And she kept her baby. Hey, I love. Mm. Look, you don't need to worry. All sorts play bingo. You'll fit in fine, love. Who sold you in playing bingo? Who do you think? You're Tyrone selling everybody. <sighs> Look, what's your problem? Youngsters are all playing, even Fez does. Does cater? Don't know. Don't care. Fill that up, Betty, will you? That's what you pay to do. It is only lunchtime, you know. It's for the information. Right. Right. See? They had a great day. Told you they would. She knows every route by name, by number and by compass point. <laughs> there too and job, she'll know every passenger and all. She can hear me every shop on every high street. It's exaggerating. <laughs> Only a bit, but she's brilliant. It was the last tram trip we went past nursery school. Ah, oh, but that move of planning in advance so could get rid of that, Joshua. You mean so could give him a chance to play with his friends? Yeah. Not for me and you have time on our own. <laughs> I can take an hint. I'll make myself scarce. 
See if Boris has chopped out off he should have left on. <laughs> the same glasses. They do things for me. They make you see better? Well, they must. Cos you're looking more cracking by the minute. Oh. Hey, you should get some glasses. Not that you need them, because you are gorgeous. Do you know, first bingo, now glasses. What do you want me to do next? Borrow one of Vera's old pinnies? <laughs> well, whatever turns you on. Come on, Claire, cos we've got an hour to ourselves. Five minutes, then I'll do a bit more revision. But if I pass the interview... Then we can celebrate the whole night. Oh, we'll well, be playing so. bingo. <laughs> it ain't a big operation, you know. Have you ever had one? No. But well, you're not that far gone. All they have to do is... I know what they do. If you were four or five months, it'd be different. My dad still want to see the back of it. Concentrate on the difference it'll make to your life, not your dad's. I wanted the baby. Maybe I still do. Look, love, you'll be home this evening. Everything will be over and done with. Cleared out. You can start living again. School. Exams. Oh, university. A career. What you mean is I'll get my life back. But it'll be the life I left behind, not the one I wanted. You're wasting your time, love, sitting there. Oh, she might as well wait till her sister comes. Yeah. Then they can both walk home together and call in at Job Centre. Me and Jess do everything together. And when we can, we work side by side. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> Lovely. We can't afford to take on any more staff. Two measly machinists. Michael, we ain't even got enough orders for the people we've already got. Then find some. I never go back, I'll be word. What, to some bloke up the golf club? Some, some bloke? We've known each other over 20 years. We put a lot of business each other's way. Yeah, well, he's seen you coming this time, hasn't he? I am a favour. He helped me out once and, uh, I don't forget things like that. What's that got to do with it? Don't mean to say you've got to take on his twin nieces. Great. Nieces. Great, good, bad, indifferent, or what? I'm telling you, we do not have the work, Michael. Besides that, she is a nutter, and if her sister is identical, she's going to be just as bad. Well, they're all nutters out there. They should blend in well. There is no new work, for all I know. I mean, they could be the best machinists in the world, but I've got nothing for them to do. So then find some, that's what I pay you for. Now, how many phone calls you made today? Well, none yet. <laughs> I might as well sack you and take her on. She seems more with it than you. Do me a favour. I was the first one in here this morning. You weren't. Right. Well, pick up the phone, go through our list. I and... did all that last week. Right, do it again. And don't stop talking. Don't put the phone down till you cut a deal. No one is interested, Michael. I told you all this yesterday. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Look, somewhere out there are people that want me to manufacture underwear. See, those are the exact words you said to me yesterday. <laughs> then I must be right. So start earning your money or get out. I don't pay you to doze. Right, be back at half past two, bring your sister with you and be ready to start. Oh, thanks, Mr Baldwin. I knew I could rely on you. There's only one person you can rely on in this world, and that's yourself. Remember, half two or forget it. So you are joining us then? Yeah. So, are there any other twins in the workforce? Oh, only me and her. You're kidding. No. Oh. Separated at birth, now joined at the hip. <laughs> Fancy that! See ya! Ra. <laughs> Do you think she believed me? The way you kept your face straight, I believed you. Hi, <laughs> <clears throat> Martin. Hello, Sally. Have you seen Kevin? Well, there's nothing there over, is it? Oh, you look terrible. Yeah. Well, I feel worse. Betty won't serve me anymore. By the look of it, you've had enough. I've had enough for life. I don't mind telling you. Take it things are still the same with Katie. She might as well have done this. Oh, Gail. I both as bad as each other. Oh, Martin, I'm so sorry. At it again, are you? What's up? Can't you keep away from him? Ah, shut it. 
We've all heard just about enough for you. What are you going to do? Go home, get a quick grope in while Kev's at the garage? You know, someone should shut you up. Are you offering? Ignore him, Martin. Oh, he'll ignore me. He ain't come near me. He ain't got the guts. <laughs> no, you just like being near young girls, don't yeah. you? It'll be your younger next. You say that again, and I'll let you have it! Oh, you stinker booze. Do you like that? You say one more word about Sal. What are you seeing here, eh? I thought you liked him young and fit. Shut it! Oh, what? You lit me? Yeah! Yeah, I'll let you. And I won't stop it in you. You think that'll keep me quiet? You're gonna have to kill me first, mate. Yeah? I'll kill you. If that's what you want. Well, come on, Ellie, see you try. Yeah, right, you're not for it. Martin, Martin, Martin. 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 Why not, do you? Hey, Enjoy it. it. Stop There's it. Stop it. Get, it. Hey, get off. Let me kill him, Jeff. Get home. And you, get back to work. Yeah, let's both get back to work. Leave Platt to carry on with your missus. He's at her every time you turn your back. You can't keep their hands off one another. You what? I told you to so shut it. Oh, there he is. Proper gentleman, standing up for her, protecting her. And you're that thick, you can't even see it. Don't listen to him, Kevin. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your wife and your best mate. I'm talking about why I chinned him. Why you chinned him because of Katie? Because you were cheating on Katie with her. He didn't, Kevin, he didn't. He did. With your wife, and I can prove it. 